Hi, and welcome to Uzine Training. In this video, I will show you how to change the background color and vector colors using Uzine. Make sure to watch all the way to the end because I'll be showing you a little secret about changing colors in Uzine that you really need to know. Let's jump right in. So once you've signed into your Uzine account, you'll arrive at your media library. This is where you can access all of your Uzine designs. For this example, I'm going to use an A5 flyer template. Once you are in the Uzine editing screen, you can start working on your designs. For this demonstration, I'm going to start by showing you how to change the background color for your design. Now there are four different options to choose between, so I'll go through them one by one. To start with, you have the option to change the background using a solid color. By pressing on this circle, you can change your background to red, blue, green, whatever color you'd like. To the right of this is a gradient option. This feature lets you create a background with a gradient. To create a gradient, you will have to choose two different colors. Shades of the same color normally work best, but you can choose completely different colors if you want to. Now on the far right hand side of the screen, there's a little box. If you press this, then you can choose where the focus of the gradient change would be. For example, if I press here, then the focus of the gradient change comes from the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The third feature available is the background pattern. There are a number of different pattern options that you can choose between. You can also personalize all of the patterns by changing the color combinations to suit your design. Each pattern offers you a set number of color combinations. This example has four different color options and you can choose each of the colors in the background. As you can see, it's a nice feature that lets you create personalized designs quickly and easily. The final background option you will have is none. Now you can use this option if you want to create an image with no background. This is perfect if you are designing a header for a website for example. Okay, now I've shown you that, I'll just change the background color of my design to a nice turquoise before I show you another great feature of Uzine. As you are no doubt aware, Uzine has an inbuilt library of hundreds of high definition vectors to choose from. Now to make this vector library even more useful, we've given you the ability to change the color of every single vector, and we haven't limited you to one color change. With some of the elements, like this one for example, you can actually use color combinations for the same vector. Okay, now I want to reveal to you the secret about changing colors using Uzine. Our color changer actually lets you pick a color from any part of your Uzine design screen. This means, if you want to change the color of a vector to the same color as the background, then all you need to do is click your mouse over the background. It's as simple as that. This is a really useful time-saving feature that will let you duplicate colors across the same design in seconds, without having to remember the color codes. I hope this video helped and gave you some great ideas of what you can achieve with Uzine. If you ever need any additional help, just check out some more of our videos or send us an email at support at ymbproperties.com. Our staff is always happy to help. That's it from me. Have a great day.